Today, March 22nd, we celebrate the feast of St. Nicholas Owen. Born at Oxford, this humble artisan saved the lives of many priests and laypersons in England during the penal times when a series of laws punished Catholics for the practice of their faith. During the reign of Elizabeth I, Catholics were forbidden to practice their religion. From 1585, it was considered treason, punishable by a traitor's death. To be found in England if you had been ordained a priest abroad. This meant that priests needed hiding places. Over a period of about 20 years, Nicholas used his skills to build secret hiding places for priests throughout the country. His work, which he did completely by himself as both architect and builder, was so good that time and time again priests in hiding were undetected by raiding parties. Nicholas was a genius at finding and creating places of safety, subterranean passages, small spaces between walls, impenetrable recesses. Owen employed great ingenuity in devising the priest holes and even hid his activities by working openly during the day as a regular carpenter and working on the hiding places only at night. The house servants would be ignorant of his real activity and only he and the owner of the home would know where he had created a hiding place by shipping through, through stone walls or burrowing into the earth. Some of the places were big enough to accommodate six to ten people. Others concealed it inside another hidden room to throw the priest hunters off the sin. It was hard work to do by oneself and he suffered injuries in the process. At one point, he was even able to mastermind the escape of two Jesuits from the Tower of London. Whenever Nicholas set out to design such hiding places, he began by receiving the Holy Eucharist and he would turn to God in prayer throughout the long, dangerous construction process. After many years at his unusual task, Nicholas entered the Society of Jesus and served as a lay brother, although for very good reasons his connection with the Jesuits was kept secret. After a number of narrow escapes, he himself was finally caught in 1594. Despite protected torture, Nicholas refused to disclose the names of other Catholics. After the interrogation, Police did not re realize they had in custody the mastermind behind the hiding places. They released him and he immediately returned to his work. He was arrested again. This time, he was subjected to horrible tortures, suffering an agonizing death. He died after several more hours of excruciating pain without ever having given up the names of those he protected. He was canonized by Pope Paul VI in 1970 as one of the 40 martyrs of England and Wales. St. Nicholas Owen, pray for us.